In this example, we're going to graph the hyperbola y equals 1 divided by x minus 4 plus 5, and we're also going to state its maximum domain and range. So because the hyperbola is already in this form, we don't need to make any adjustments to be able to see how this function's been transformed. So that occurred. The first one is that it's been translated four units in the positive x direction due to the x minus 4 on the bottom line. So if we take the zero of that bottom line, we have x equals 4. And we know 1 divided by 0 is not allowed, so that means that at x equals 4, we have an asymptote. So here's our asymptote at x equals 4. And then we also know that it's been translated 5 units in the positive y direction because of the plus 5 here. So that means that the horizontal this means that the horizontal asymptote occurs at y equals 5. So next, all we need to do is make sure that we've got any x and y intercepts that occur on this graph. So to find the y-intercept, we let x equal 0. And when we do this, we get y is equal to 1 divided by 0 take 4 plus 5. So we have y equals 5 minus a quarter. And as a decimal, that's going to be 4.75, which means on the graph, y-intercept occurs when x is 0 and y is 4.75. So we can mark that on our graph straight away. So here is the point where x is 0 and y is 4.75. And now we can find our x-intercept. And that occurs when y is equal to 0. So we have 0 is equal to 1 divided by x subtract 4 plus 5. So subtracting 5 from both sides of the equation we find that negative 5 is equal to 1 on x subtract 4. And now we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by x minus 4. So we have minus 5 times x minus 4 is equal to 1. So if we divide both sides by negative 5, we find that x minus 4 is equal to negative 1 fifth. And then adding 4 to both sides, we find that x is equal to 4 minus a fifth, which is, as a decimal, 3.8, which means that the coordinate of the x-intercept is 3.8, 0. And we can mark that into our graph straight away. That's 3.8, 0. And now all that's left to do is fit a positive hyperbola in, which means we'll have part of it in the top right corner like this, and part of it in the bottom left going through our x and y intercept like that. So you can see that the hyperbola here will get closer and closer and closer to the asymptotes that we marked in red, but never quite reach them. So with that in mind, we can state the domain and range of this function. So the domain, in very basic terms, is all the x values allowed to be used up by the function. So if we have a look across the x-axis, okay, so across the horizontal axis, we can see that every single x value, excluding 4, is allowed to go into our function. And that's because if we put x equals 4 in there, we get 1 divided by 0, which is undefined. So that's where our asymptote is. And then the range of our function, if we have a look up and down the y-axis, we can see that all the y-values that come out, all the second numbers in the ordered pair, are the reals excluding 5. And that's because there's no way that 1 over x subtract 4 can equal 0. So the top number is not 0 and the bottom number can't be 0, so that means we can never get a value out that is 5. So that's the domain and range. So on this slide, we've just got a computer to generate a graph of this hyperbola. 
you can see the vertical asymptote at x equals 4 and the horizontal asymptote at y equals 5 and then the two intercepts the y axes at 4.75 and the x axes at 3.8 and over here we've restated the maximal domain and range for this function.